right, let mommy do that side over there. Sir? Yes, sir. Uh, I was vacuuming there, and I think uh, my wife lost her earring. Is there anything you can do for uh, us? Yes, sir, absolutely. I mean, it just went right through, so. Yeah, no problem. It just goes right in here. OK. All right, kids. The first time that I had to dig into a vacuum bin, I was pretty grossed out. Get the quarters, get the quarters. But now, as I keep doing it just about every week, I kind of get used to it. It's become like a second nature to me. The kids love going to the car wash because it's like a treasure hunt for them. Did you find the earring? We have found earphones, jewelry, change, of course, a lot of change. Yeah, there's a mint there. Pick it up, get it. We have found candy. Is it open? No, 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 it's sealed, it's sealed. So it's OK to eat? Yeah. Nicholas, you find the earring? We have been saving coins from car wash bags. The two older kids now, they used to do it when they were little. He said, hurry, hurry, get the nickels, get the nickels. Quarters, right there. Like, you know. And then at the end, my dad would just place something there and be like, oh, look, we found it. Let me see. One second. Uh, I think I got it. This is it, right? Yeah, that's it. We got it, kids. I'm sure. Maybe one day they're going to have their own kids doing this. So we pass the torch to them as they did pass the torch to the little ones now. Nicholas, what's the change? Going to the car wash is like playing the slot because the dollar that I put in, I know I'm going to get it back anyways. My father, he's very dedicated. All he wants is to save money. And I think he does it out of the kindness of his heart. It's just annoying. Six. Hello, sir. How are you? Good, thank Table? you. No, counter, please. Counter. Triple deckers. As a family of six, we consume lots of food. And now that my two oldest children are back home for the summer, I have to be very, very careful not to go over budget. Were you guys ready? You guys... Um, I'm just going to have a water, please. Just the water? Yes. All right. I'll have water. It's okay. And all the water? Just the water? All right. Can we have extra lemon on the water, please? Sure, no Thank problem. You. Anything else for you guys? I'm going to have, please, a club sandwich uh, and a coffee. I'm going to have another club sandwich. OK. I'm to take this menu out of your way. We love Thank diners. You. you know, New Jersey is the, uh, the diner capital of the world. So it's a pretty regular habit for us to go to diners. Going to a diner with my dad is the most embarrassing thing ever. He and my mother, they get coffee and they split it. Yeah and then they get unlimited refills. We all have to get waters. So we take those, we mix it with the free lemons, we take the sugar packets, and then we mix it together, and we get lemonade. Oh, that's enough sugar, Nicholas. You're going to get too hyper. I don't want you hyper. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Can I have two extra plates, please? Sure. And two extra for me as well. Thank you. you guys need anything else? Can I have uh, some extra lettuce and tomato, please, on the sure. side? No Thank you. The great thing about diners is diners usually serve you these huge portions. In our culture, we share. We have big plates of food on the table, and everybody eats from everything. It's normal to share, but it's not normal to share club sandwiches. The club sandwich, it's pretty much like getting two or three sandwiches into one. And I always get also the extra lettuce to make it a little bit more bulky. Whenever we go out eating, there's always something for free. If I'm with my kids, we get tons of samples of whatever it is and just bring them home, and it's great. The waitresses think we are psycho. They give us the dirtiest looks I've ever seen in my life. Ready? Ready? Yeah, we're ready. I don't think my habits are extreme. They're just regular. This is the way I am, so nothing is extreme for me. And I mean, I'm, I'm uh, aware of uh, the cost of things, and I just try to cut ends where I can. I love him very much, but his cheap ways sometimes turn me off. <laughs> In the garage of our house, he has a little workstation. It's a little money-saving station. As a family of six, we consume lots of water. Bottled water can cost $1 per bottle. If I was buying bottled water for my family, uh, we're talking more than 100 bottles a week. 
Instead of buying uh, new bottles of spring water, I just keep the old ones and I refill them with tap water from the hose. And then just to create that magic final touch, what I do is I use this non-toxic clear nail polish. So when you open the bottle, it makes that magic clicking sound. So they think that it's brand new. My dad, he thinks we don't notice. I notice right away. Kids fall for it though, it works. It gets me so frustrated thinking that it's a brand new water bottle. It's just, it's a it's something that I, I just struggle with a lot. <laughs> I just saved a dollar right here. I love beer. Beer is one of my passions. Now that my kids are home, you know, for the summer, it could be quite expensive. I have these uh, empty bottles of premium brand beer. What I do is I buy this uh, regular uh, cheap kind of beer and I pour it into the premium bottles which I just uh, put the cap back into the bottle and I just go like this, click. And it seals them perfectly. Just like premium beer. My kids won't even notice. He thinks we don't notice, but we notice. I know that we recently just started drinking, but we know what crappy beer is. It tastes like pee. Hey, Francesca. Got a job for you here. That's for you. I have to shake this for 10 to 15 minutes to make butter, and I've been doing this for as long as I can remember. The butter that I make, it's pretty good. I don't drink the water, I don't drink the beer, but the butter is actually good. My husband hates when people open up the fridge and leave it open. He feels that you're wasting energy, and energy is money. Every time you open the refrigerator door, there's a lot of wasted energy. And that's something that drives me crazy. I have to do something about it. Everyone is only allowed to open the fridge doors once a day. And they have 24 seconds to do so. And if they don't do it in that time, too bad. Anytime we exceed that, he charges us. We're penalized with whatever it may be, dime, nickel, whatever he determines the cost was. By controlling how many times a day they open the fridge door, I save about $20, $25 a month. I have a love-hate relationship with that 24-second clock. In the summertime, we have barbecues every weekend. I love to barbecue. The taste of uh, whatever you make on the barbecue is just so special and nothing beats that. Having a family of six, it could be very expensive to have a barbecue. No matter how cheap Raul is, he always makes it happen. And that's what makes him so great. I'm mixing the crackers with the ground beef. Saltines make a great binder with hamburgers because uh, not only do they expand the meat, but they also add flavor and it's pretty much free. Propane and charcoal are a big waste of money. A tank of propane, it's usually about $25, $30 a tank, and that's only good for about one or two barbecues. He takes a pot from a plant, he puts sand in there, and then he throws in sticks that he finds all around the garden, and he turns them up, lights it up, and that is, woo, voila, our fire. It's another embarrassing thing to add to the list. It smells delicious. There you go. Told you it was gonna be good. See. Hey. 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 Just make sure you cut the cheese in half before you put it. Cut the cheese in half? This barbecue is pretty cheap, but at the end of the day, people are happy. The cheeseburgers on my dad's grill have a very interesting and unique flavor. Despite how cheap he is, I love him to death. He is the cheapest big heart I ever know. I don't think my dad will ever stop being cheap because I feel like 
I've only been alive for 11 years, but if he hasn't stopped in 11 years, I think it's pretty much hopeless. Having a good time is not about how much money you spend, it's just about the people that you're with. Having a good and, time with them, of course. And everybody's having a great time, as you can see.